one, we have several different uh, question categories versus components. So we'll start there. Uh, so this is a question uh, related to the chilled water um, pump three. So we'll go to chilled water, excuse me, actually, <laughs> go back, chilled water pump three. Okay, now the very first thing you'll notice is that we have the ability to drag our uh, elements along the screen. And the reason why this is important is it allows us to um, kind of customize our experience instead of just having um, the elements uh, sitting there on the screen in the same position at all times. So if I'm moving in here and I want to get a, a better vantage point, and this thing is the question panel is blocking my, my view, number one, I can just hide the whole question panel. Um, number two, I can drag it out of the way. And number three, I can actually scale it up and down. So depending on the device that I'm using and how much space I have on my screen, then you can really go uh, crazy in terms of customizing the way that it's going to look. So this is saying find my um, chill water, three suction gauge. Now, in terms of how we navigate the new system, number one, uh, you see here we have the navigation button. Let me actually go back to the beginning here. With our navigation button, from our system view, uh, we can select the component that we want to go to. So we want to go to chill water pump three. And then now we're in our uh, machine view. So system view is the entire system. The machine view is the um, specific device that we're trying to work on. In this case, our chill water pump three. Um, in machine view, if I hit my navigation button again, then I can select the different vantage points that I want to rotate to. So in this case, um, I want to go over here to the, um, in this case, is the right of the machine. So suction gauge, look over here on my strainer side, select that. Now, I want to enter this as my answer, but how can I do it? If there's no button for submit, then I close the navigation. I hit submit. Am I sure? Yes. Now it's saying that um, I selected the right part, but let's say if I selected the wrong part. So I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to submit this other gauge. And it's telling me the uh, name of the part that I just selected. So um, a lot of people were concerned. There's thousands of parts inside of the system that um, how do you know you're being asked a certain question? How do you know what you are actually selecting if you don't know the, the system quite yet? So again, I selected the wrong thing. I can retry the question, select the right thing, submit it again, and then I get the correct question, and then I can go on to the next part. Now, another thing that we changed in this system is we added the ability while you're in the simulator to go back and change the type of questions that you're being asked. Previously, you'd have to completely um, uh, log out of the simulator and it would take time in order to load the simulator again. So now we've uh, changed that. So the second type of question is a readings question. So this is asking for our uh, chiller one condenser water delta T. So again, navigation, go to chiller one, my condenser water, navigation, go to my right side, condenser water. I got my um, um, thermometers over here. So I'm going to select one thermometer and I want to take a reading on this thermometer. The way that you take readings, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to select info and then I'm going to take a reading and my water temperature here is 89 degrees. I'm going to select another component, hit info again, take a reading and it's 100 degrees. Now the question, I'm going to close here. The question is asking for the delta T, which is the difference in temperature. Now, let's say if I don't know that, if I don't know what the delta T, how do I find out? Well, we go to our documents panel here and we have our math glossary and I can open that up. And then on my math glossary, Delta T is for the condenser is my leaving temperature um, minus my entering uh, temperature. So my water is picking up uh, heat as it passes through the condenser. 
right? So I go back here. So my leaving temperature over here, select info, take a reading, 100 degrees minus my entering temperature, select info, take a reading, 89 degrees. So I want to calculate the difference between my leaving water temperature and my entering water temperature. So I'm going to open my calculator, 100 minus 89 equals 11. And then I'm going to submit that. Am I sure? Yes. And that is correct. Now, let me retry that. If I enter in the wrong answer, let's say 10, submit that. So in this case with the reading, it's going to tell me what the correct answer should be. As opposed to uh, with the components, if I get the answer incorrect on the components, it's going to tell me what I selected. But for the readings, it's going to tell me uh, what the numeric value should be. So that's uh, the readings. I'm going to reset. The next type of question is a procedure question. Now, um, in here, um, this says that we have a multi part question with nine steps. And it's talking about changing out our condenser uh, pump three strainer. So, navigation. Condenser pump three, and we want to change out our strainer, which is this uh, component right here. Now, uh, these buttons over here, they actually, um, when you when you first load the question, it's going to play the question. But then if you stop the question and press play again, it's actually going to tell you the steps for the procedure. And then you can pause and you can rewind to hear the different steps for the actual procedure. Um, the reason why we don't uh, just uh, give out written instructions, um, when you work in the field, you have to get used to taking verbal instructions. People are going to tell you how to do things. And if someone tells you to do something a certain way, then you have to follow um, exactly along the way that they tell you to do it. Additionally, it's good to write down the instructions that you're being given. Now, uh, my speaker is muted right now, so I'm just going to go through a couple of steps. Um, to perform this procedure. So this is my HOA switch. I'm going to select info and I'm going to turn this to the off position. I'm going to select my disconnect switch and I'm going to turn that to lockout tag out. Go to the right here. I have my valves. Close my valves. Now, in reality, I would have to drain um, water out of the system. It would be a drain valve underneath my volute. Uh, we don't have it here, but we'll probably add that in the future. And then I'm going to select my strainer. And I'm going to repair the strainer. Now, all the while I've been doing this, my steps have been being recorded. So I can check to see if I've done things the right way or not. So my HOA switch is off. My... Disconnect switch is locked out, tagged out. My suction valve is closed. Discharge valve is closed. Strainer is repaired. Now I'm going to submit it here, even though I haven't completed the question. And it tells me that I'm 55% correct. Um, the important thing here is uh, just like at the fire department, you can get um, percentages of your procedural questions correct. So you can get parts of your points, even if you don't do everything 100% correct. The good thing is I can go back, I can retry the question and try to do everything again and then see uh, what I get. Now I'm going to reset. The next type of question is a refrigerant question. Refrigerant question is a procedural question. The only difference is that it, it deals specifically with recovering refrigerant, recovering, charging, different things like that. So this is telling us that compressor one on chiller two is in need of service. I mentioned this many times. One of the um, the difficult parts about uh, this test is that if you look here, it's saying compressor one on chiller two. So instinctively, I might want to go to chiller one, but it's not asking me to go to chiller one. It's saying go to chiller two. And then I want to recover the refrigerant from chiller one. In order to do that, I need to do a specific procedure in which I pump the machine down. I go to the back. I have my king valves. 
uh, a lot of different um, options for my king valve. So I want to uh, fully front seat so I can start to pump the machine down, go to the front of the machine, turn my switch off, lock out, tag out. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole procedure here. Um, I will show you that when we're doing our recovery procedures that we will have to go to our recovery equipment. And on our recovery equipment, um, we're going to have different parts that we can select and different options. So over here, um, our vapor valve, over here, our liquid valve, over here on our gauge manifold, different things that we can um, select here. Um, so different options based on um, the specific um, component that we are uh, selecting. Okay, so 